Let's review. It's always good to have a review. If you hear things five times, you actually start to remember them after a while. We're human. We're all the same. R number one is removing the source. Not only taking people from modiums or fillings from their mouth or you know, from living downstream from pesticides, but it's also removing it from the cell. And we talked about the product intracellular detox system, raising intracellular glutathione, grabbing it in the gut and pulling it out. It's a system that really works. We talked about Vista. R number two is regenerating the cell membrane. And Vista is a product that's come from 12 years of researching this topic. And it started with me, my sick son, and really a lot of pain and agony, you know, with that one for sure. And R number three is, you know, restoring cellular energy. And I said that it's, hey, it's very the, typically the first thing that I do in my most challenged patients. It has to do with sensitivities. It has to do with so many different conditions we would never think. But raising cellular energy, really, really, really critical. R number four, let's draw it out. R number four is reducing inflammation slash oxidative stress because it plays into inflammation. But reducing inflammation is obviously a key component of cellular health and obviously a key component of detox and really the answer, removing the cause of most degenerative diseases that we're seeing today, even cancer. Look, when you look at the research, and I've been drawing circles through all of these videos, right? Here's another cell circle. I said that it's inflammation more specifically of the cell membrane, right? So, you know, when I talk to a, a, a public audience, I'm saying, look, you know, they, they think of inflammation of a sore shoulder. Yeah, that's inflammation. But really specifically, it's inflammation of the cell and more specifically of the cell membrane. And I also talked about inflammation of this inner mitochondrial membrane where we make cell energy. And once that um, gets inflamed, now we start to really see sick and challenged patients. And let me tell you, it's happening in kids today where we have both membranes inflamed. When this membrane becomes inflamed, now we can't get the good stuff in, we can't get the toxins out, we start triggering our DNA, right? We start getting epigenetic triggers, and now we're getting diseases of our genetic weakness. I talked about fixing the cell membrane and how that can actually change gene expression. Well, look, we know that there is some specific nutrients, and again, technology has come a long way. And we know that there's specific even antioxidants that actually downregulate inflammation. But let me talk about it a couple ways. Most of you are familiar with resveratrol. It's very popular, and it really works. It helps even protect the DNA. And resveratrol even has an impact on the outer membrane. Um, however, I made mention last time of something called the no-ono cycle. No, I know it's different, so I have to write it. That's the no-ono cycle. That is an inflammation oxidative uh, cycle that has been really made popular, and it's the theory of uh, Dr. Martin Paul, really, really smart biochemist, who showed that this cycle is what's malfunctioning in a lot of unexplainable illnesses, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, autism, um, even diabetes and a lot of other um, autoimmune cases, this is an inflammation cycle that feeds back into itself. So when you get exposed, here's the theory, you get exposed to certain toxins or stressors and it triggers this inflammation cycle. In matter of fact, you release something called nitric oxide. You're familiar with it, heart disease. It's actually good, it dilates vessels. And nitric oxide is released in an inflammatory state. It's meant to be, it happens, it's normal. But the problem is, is in this cycle, nitric oxide doesn't get downregulated and it turns into something even more nasty called peroxynitrite. I just lost you, remember I said that with NMDA. But here's the point, this nasty free radical drives inflammation of the cell. And what happens is, is it feeds back into itself and it doesn't get downregulated, the system breaks. It's a positive feedback loop that just goes and goes and goes and goes. These patients are very, very sick. We know today there's certain nutrients that we need to actually downregulate this inflammation cycle. Matter of fact, the product that we created was a product called Epic, E-P-I-C. Epic was designed to downregulate this inflammation cycle. And by the way, when you make ATP, which we've been talking a lot about, you actually create something called superoxide. And superoxide is another nasty free radical. That's why your cell actually makes something called superoxide desmutase, SOD. Matter of fact, it's so hot right now in anti-aging because we know that if we can give somebody superoxide desmutase and we can 
decrease this nasty free radical called superoxide, we can actually anti-age them at the cellular level. Well, EPIC, actually one of the things it does is it actually helps naturally raise superoxide dismutase. They're putting it in all the skin creams, anti-aging creams, but this product does it at the cellular level. And when you increase SOD, superoxide dismutase, you can also help downregulate this cycle because superoxide and peroxynitrite actually feed into each other. Enough biochemistry. I'm going to kill you on biochemistry. But the point is this. This is brand new stuff. And when you have a product, and, and again, I, I keep repeating myself because we used to have to give so many different products to actually downregulate this cycle in these very sick and challenged patients. Now we have to give one. Now, there is one more product that we use in R number four, and it's a product called ROX, R-O-X. ROX has the resveratrol and some other antioxidants that are very unique, but it is the synergistic blend of antioxidants that makes ROX so unique. As a matter of fact, in the form that they're in makes it very unique, but it downregulates inflammation you know, differently, the outer membrane, the DNA, even different than the no ono cycle. So the no ono cycle is dealing with inflammation that the cell actually makes itself and can't downregulate. ROX actually deals with inflammation created directly from certain oxidants and toxins. So oftentimes in our protocols, we use both, but sometimes you're just specifically using one and then switching to another. These are two tools that directly hit the cause of the number one cause of disease today, and that's cellular inflammation. And again, when you put it in use with the other R formulas, the VISTA, the ENRG, raising cellular energy, now we have something that works. And I made this point earlier and I want to remake it. None of these five R's work independently of one another. It's a synergy. There's often times where I'm not addressing all the R's, no doubt about it. Maybe one, maybe two, sometimes all of them. But the point is this. Uh, you're going to have to work through these five R's at some point through every patient that you treat because it is the cell that you have to fix to get well. I hope this helped. Stay tuned for R number five because it is probably the most cutting edge scientific information thus far. It's all over the literature. Can't wait. I already tipped you off to what it is, but stay tuned for that.